City Council President Helena Moreno demanded answers Tuesday from Entergy executives in response to our investigation of a phone scam that appears to use real Entergy billing data to trick customers. So based on these investigative reports, it seems clear that there is a breach somewhere because uh, Mr. Hammer was able to provide additional bills that had similar situations. Entergy Vice President and Chief Security Officer Chris Peters assured the City Council Utilities Committee that there is no data breach, not on Entergy's end, nor with any of the third-party vendors who also have access to Entergy's customer data. There is no um, indication that Entergy or vendor systems divulge or were the source of the scammer's information. Entergy officials said they reached out to Terrell Perry and Drew Ward, the customers we featured in our stories. We were um, firm with, the, uh, with those two customers that, their, that the scammers had the wrong information about their balances. But Perry says that's not true. The last time I spoke to Entergy was when I called them. I haven't spoken to anyone who initiated a call to me at all. She said the scammers knew she owed a $200 deposit when they called her. I find it very, very hard to believe that if a scammer wasn't getting real-time data that he would know I owed a deposit. Entergy's VP for Information Security, Ann Delanella, said the customers could have been the ones who were hacked. But Ward said that doesn't fit with this message that recently popped up on his iPad, saying his Entergy password had appeared in a data leak. Moreno ordered a full management audit of Entergy's systems and also asked the city council's utility advisors to do a risk assessment of Entergy's vendors. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. And the council committee also questioned Entergy about a major error during last month's freeze when it cut power to three times too many customers. We'll have much more on that story coming up at 6.